So remember during the pandemic when everybody was doing virtual races and I had always wanted to do some sort of race, but I thought I couldn't because of my weight? Have you ever decided to wake up in the middle of the night and make a purchase thanks to a Facebook ad where you join a virtual race even though you've never run a race in your entire life because you don't run? Well, nearly a year later, I did it. And then some. <laughs> When I started my first Conqueror Challenge, I could never expect how much it would change my life, let alone the lives of my friends around me. Who knew that I could be so inspiring? But it's safe to say that doing these challenges have greatly benefited me over this past year. When it comes to doing a virtual race, you can do it by yourself or with a buddy. Human is optional. And if you decide to do these challenges on your own and feel like you need support, there's a whole online community you get to be a part of, which is one of the best aspects of the Conqueror Challenges, in my opinion. This community has helped and inspired me when I've been mentally exhausted and I just wanted to give up on my race and when I've just been feeling low and needed moral support. So I am very grateful that this community exists. So why exactly did I start the Conqueror Challenges? Okay, 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 but seriously. For me personally, I started these challenges as an emotional eater who was on a weight loss journey, but I was working on a lot more than just weight loss. The way that I grew up led to a lot of insecurity, low self-esteem, and fear. So there were a lot of things that I wanted to do in life, but I didn't because I grew up feeling like I couldn't do things or I wasn't allowed to do things. So I wouldn't do them because I was afraid of failing and then proving, you know, all of these voices in my head correctly, or I would just give up halfway through and be like, nope, see, I can't do it. I'm not supposed to do this. So this was about doing something that I wanted to do and finally completing it. And I had been working my way up to this point. And so doing this conqueror challenge was a way to incentivize myself for doing something and completing it, but also being more active on my weight loss journey. Hell yeah, I'll take a medal for doing a bunch of miles. The fact that I was walking towards earning a medal worked for me. And after completing that first challenge, I then wanted to do more. And it has helped me so much to be active in my life and to make sure that I'm moving and getting exercise on a daily basis. And I get cool medals in the end. I will not stop talking about these medals. <laughs> And when it comes to choosing challenges, this is the first race I ever did. It's very sentimental to me. I picked it because I really want to go to Japan, which is um, really hard to do right now. So this was a way to be in Japan virtually if I can't be there physically. Another one that's really sentimental to me is Camino de Santiago. This was the longest race that I did so far. This is sentimental because I picked the challenge to push myself and walk longer than I had been at that point. Also, I know a few people who have done the Camino de Santiago trail and they told me how beautiful it was and it, it made me want to go even though <laughs> I don't know if I could hack it, but I did it virtually. <laughs> So if I never get to go in person, at least I can say I did it virtually. So everybody has a reason for why they choose a specific challenge or race. You know, you could do it because you want to visit a certain place, but you can't, so you can do it virtually. Or you pick a challenge just because you like the way the metal looks and there's nothing wrong with that. You can do it for sentimental reasons or because you just wanna challenge yourself to do a certain amount of miles. There's really no wrong way to do any of this, except not do it. Right now, I'm doing the North Coast Challenge. It's the uh, coast of Scotland and it's 500.5 miles long. So that's the longest race I've done so far. And I'm definitely doing it because the metal has a unicorn on it. As you can see, it's a uh, slow going, but I want to do these type of races because I want to challenge myself and I want to push myself due to the fact that they're a long distance. However, I find that my motivation and my desire to do a long race 
can easily wane because it just feels like it's never ending. So I learned to do shorter races in between this long race. And that way I can keep my focus. I earn a medal while I'm doing a race. And you know, that keeps me pushing forward. Say you're on the website, you sign up for a challenge, they email you a code, make sure to download the app. Join a challenge is at the top, join a challenge, choose from a range of blah, 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 enter, join code, click that. You copy and paste your code into this area and all your information for the race that you just signed up for will pop up. I'm doing Trek to Petra right now, it's 40 miles. And then you get to choose how long you want uh, the race to go for, like how long it's going to take you to complete your race. You can go up to like a year, two years, whatever you want. As you can see, I have chosen three weeks for my time frame because you know, life happens, things pop up. And the cool thing about the Conqueror is that if you feel like you are not going to finish your race in the allotted time that you gave yourself, just change the time frame. You're allowed to change the time frame. That's pretty cool. So. Moving on, this is the map that pops up when I bring up my Trek to Petra challenge. If I zoom out, oh, those are the people that are doing it right now. Hello. So you can see through Jordan going a straight line down there to the finish line. If you see those trees at the 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 mark, what that means is that for every 20% that you complete on your challenge, the conqueror is going to plant trees. And yes, this is real. Somebody in the Facebook group actually researched this to see if it was true. So you're helping the earth while you're getting your steps in. Now you can have a blast with this map while you're on your journey. You can also go back after you complete the journey and just take your little peg person around. So that person thing, I'm gonna click on that. Whoa, and this is the area where I am starting. You can zoom around. It's uh, powered by Google. Not Google, Google satellite, whatever. The Google thingy. <laughs> Google Maps, whatever. So I'm gonna zoom in. There's my little peg person. If I press my finger on it, I should be able to move it like that. Whoa, floating through the air. So your peg person's gonna go along on the journey as you are. Whoa, I just, whoa! Those people do not have limbs. What just happened there? So when it comes to doing these races, you absolutely do not have to be a runner. I mean, I'm not a runner. I'm a walker, so I walk all of my races. However, I did not sign up for hills. Whoa, my God, there's a branch. <laughs> you can actually do anything you want for these challenges. Like there's a whole list of exercises to choose from. It's also inclusive to people who use wheelchairs. So whatever you're feeling, you can do it. So I completed my steps for the day. As you can see, I did 7,654 steps according to my phone. Not a lot compared to my average, but this is my day off from work. So I wanted to take it a little bit easy today. And now I'm gonna plug in these steps to the app to show you what's next. I manually enter my steps. So seven, six, five, I'm gonna do this for the road to Petra. Wait, no, boom. There we go. And post confirm 3.8 miles. Ta da! And it says that I have unlocked two milestones on my journey. So when you click on my journey, you see what you passed. Ooh. I got a postcard and then it tells you a lot of information about the area. It's pretty cool. 9% complete so far. So here I am a year later and in that time I've gone from being somebody who gives up and quits to walking basically every single day. I've earned seven medals so far with one on the way and most importantly I'm still going even when I'm not doing a race. I'm so glad that I did these Conqueror challenges because they gave me the push that I needed. If I could leave you with some parting words and convince you to do these challenges, there is absolutely no wrong way to do them. They are what you make of them. 
everybody is on their own journey and they're all going at a different pace. So the only person you're really competing against is yourself. If you do these challenges, never compare yourself to somebody else. You do them the way that you need to and you want to. Some people only do specific exercises for these challenges, while others count every single step of the day towards their challenge because it's a huge deal if they could walk one mile a day or they could walk 10 miles. That's the amazing thing about this community is that it is so unique and so diverse and it's so welcoming and positive, which is very hard to find online these days. <laughs> so I hope you give it a chance. It's amazing. It has done wonders for me. When I'm feeling down, I just go on that Facebook page and seeing everybody's stories and seeing them achieve their goals and win their medals just brightens my day. Like I root for everybody. That's the cool thing. You can't be, you know, jealous or upset at anybody you just want to root for them all and they're gonna root for you and that is such an amazing feeling and that is why I love the Conqueror Challenges so thank you so much to the Conqueror Challenges for reaching out to me to do this video if you are interested in joining a challenge I will leave the link to their website in the description box below seriously go check it out do a challenge if just one get an awesome medal out of it it will change your life in one way or another. It's such an amazing feeling. And I hope I have shown that on my channel throughout the past year because it really has been a significant impact for me over this past year. I don't know where I would be right now without the Conqueror Challenges. It's been a tough time for all of us. So doing these challenges has definitely been a happy and shining moment through all of that. As always, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.